Wolfgang, hello, hello. Hi. I'm so happy to see you, Wolfgang. Well, I'm glad to see you back there. Are you, you're in Hungary, right? I assume. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. I'm in Hungary. I'm in Budapest. And where are you um, at this moment? Well, I'm in a small village outside of a small village in the northeastern state of Vermont, in a little village called Williston, which is oh, 12 kilometers from Burlington, our bigger city in our state of Vermont. So yes. I'm at home. So uh, at home. We, yes. university is absolutely closed. So we're all working from home. And I have been very lucky that I have been uh, a few times at home and I have been able to use your books. Yeah, we have well, my wife, I, my wife, uh, yeah. So just my fantastic times. Have very fond memories of you being here, and and uh, it seems like an awful long time ago. But still, maybe you can come again sometime, and I can I maybe come to Hungary again one of these days. I hope. That would I be hope. nice. I hope that we will meet. I hope that we will meet. And yeah. now, before we uh, start this interview, I would like to introduce my guest today. My guest today is Professor Wolfgang Miller. I met Wolfgang, do you remember when I met you? Well, probably in the 70s, Anna? No, no, no. In the 70s, I was, uh, I was um, a schoolgirl in, um, in Moscow. So it was in 89, when in 89, uh, there was a conference in Budapest. And it was my first That's... international conference or international congress I attended. And you were... You were the chairperson, and everyone was talking. Welcome, Mitter is coming. Welcome, Mitter is coming, and you—you you were chairperson. <laughs> Welcome, and no, I—I didn't know. I didn't know that. <laughs> was that was that when uh, uh, Wilmos Feucht introduced us, Anna? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. And I remember at that time, uh, just a, a couple of days before my paper. Uh, the son of uh, Dimitris Lokatos told me that I should present my paper and afterwards I should say something like, and for those of you who have been sleeping through my paper, I would like to summarize. And you know, and it was my first uh, paper delivered to the international conference and I thought it was very funny. And, uh, and this is what I did. And afterwards I felt so, so ashamed. <laughs> You said no, no one was asleep. So, <laughs> but for me, it sounded really like very, very humorous. So, Wolfgang, today I would like to ask you a lot of questions, a lot, a lot of questions about your life, about your career, uh, about uh, where you were born, uh, where you live right now, and many, many other issues. But before I do it, could you introduce yourself? Could you say something which you think is important for uh, those of uh, people who are going to watch us? <laughs> I always find that very difficult. But anyhow, you already mentioned my name. I'm, I'm Wolfgang Mieder. I am a professor of German and follow at the University of Vermont. And I'm happy to report that uh, this fall in August, I will start my 50th year of teaching at the University of Vermont. And uh, so uh, it has been a, a very good run all these years. Um, I'm very dedicated to the state of Vermont and, and our rural community and of course the university. So there were opportunities to move back to Europe, to go to Germany or, or maybe even move on uh, to another university here in the United States. But uh, my wife and I uh, really feel very much at home here. And at the university, uh, as a professor of German, I've taught basically pretty much everything from language to culture to, to uh, literature, of course. And uh, then as my uh, interest shifted and I became involved with the stuff of folklore, that is really when, that is really what gave me the opportunity to overcome the, uh, let's say, limitations or confines of being a German professor in a foreign country, you know, so I could relate to you, for example, Anna, and to my many international friends who 
share my interests in folklore, folk narrative, and of course, uh, especially uh, with proverbs. So many times people have asked me, why did you stay at the University of Vermont? You know, small, relatively small university with about 12,000 students, at least in America, that's relatively small. But um, it's of course also the kind of life that we have enjoyed here in, and you know it, here in, in, the, in, the, in a state that is relatively little populated and is beautiful as far as the countryside is concerned. And of course nowadays with the media and online uh, availabilities, you can almost work anywhere really. So, so it has been a very good life here in Vermont. Yes, absolutely. And I can also prove it. Uh, it was years ago when I visited you. Once I visited you in summer and uh, uh, once I visited you in winter. And in winter it was, I believe, in 99. So in 98, 99, I was awarded a Fulbright scholarship. That's and, right. uh, uh, my mentor at that time was uh, Ellen Dundas, a very good friend of yours, and uh, I was at California, uh, at the uh, University of California, uh, uh, at Berkeley, and uh, you invited me to have a paper uh, there to deliver a lecture at the university, and my first book, Welcome, was published while I was uh, spending uh, my Fulbright scholarship, and it was the book, which I would like to show to, uh, to you, <laughs> to <laughs> remind yeah, you. Was a lot. Yeah, <laughs> yes, it was quite a lot of time, a long time ago, Twisted Wisdom, Modern Anti-Proverbs. Yeah, that's what, got, that's what got your interest in Anti-Proverbs started, didn't it? Yeah. Uh, okay. well, it I was glad that you were able to go to Berkeley and, and, and you know, of course, that uh, Alan Dundas was my best friend, you know, yes. and he, he, he was, of course, 10 years older than I am. So uh, he died in 2005. And uh, you may recall that uh, at the time of his death, then I uh, published our correspondence. You know, yes, the, yes, yes. 35 years of friendship and and I still miss him. I have a picture on my bookshelf of him. Mm -hmm. yes, one, yes. one here at home and one at my office. So I mm -hmm. look at him every day. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I have this book at my home. So you send it. Yeah. Sure, book. sure. Mm -hmm. 